In the previous video, we discussed about the overview of what chemotaxis is. Now in this video, we will have a detailed look on chemotaxis in bacteria and the signaling pathway in chemotaxis. We know when there is any beneficial substance like nutrients which acts as an attractant near the bacterial population, the bacteria will go towards it. And on the other hand, when there is any toxic substance which acts as a repellent in its vicinity, the bacterial population will go away from it. So this is how the chemotaxis works in bacteria. But how this attractant and repellent are sensed within the bacteria will be shown in the following signaling pathway. The chemotaxis pathway is mediated through a transmembrane protein called MCP, methyl accepting chemotaxis protein. It's a receptor protein which is able to detect the repellents and attractants in the environment. Prior to ligand binding, the receptor is in the form of monomers. And when there is any substance, say repellent, near the bacteria, the repellent acts as a ligand for the MCP receptor. As you can see in this diagram, the repellent acts as a ligand for MCP receptor and shows ligand binding activity towards this receptor. The binding of ligand towards receptor is followed by the dimerization of MCP. So now the MCP has got conformational changes in its structure. That means it has got activated by ligand. So after dimerization of MCP, the MCP recruits two more proteins. One is called TW or you can say CW protein. Another one is GA protein or you can say CA protein. The CW protein only acts as a transducer protein for the signal to be transmitted to CA protein. And it's this CA protein which acts as a sensor kinase. The CA shows kinase activity and autophosphorylates itself on hysterial residues. After the autophosphorylation of GA protein, the GA protein activates the GY protein by transferring the phosphate towards the aspartate residue of GY. And finally, the GY protein phosphorylates the protein complex composed of three proteins, FLIM, FLIG, and FLIN. This protein complex acts as a flagellar motor switch. And when this GY protein activates this switch, it gives signal to basal body of the flagella to switch the rotation for direction change. And in this case, the ligand was repellent. So the rotation of flagella will be switched from counterclockwise to clockwise rotation to get away from the substance that's toxic for a bacteria. Now let's see the movements in bacteria depending upon the substances which bacteria encounters. First of all, we see bacteria shows forward movements in presence of nutrients. And at that time, the flagellum rotation is counterclockwise. That means the bacteria is going forward. But when there is presence of any toxic chemicals in its vicinity, the counterclockwise movement will be switched to clockwise rotation of the flagellum and the bacteria will go away from that substance. This is all about chemotaxis in bacteria. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.